Welcome to the short book summaries channel enjoy and subscribe if you like our work. I listened to this book on my con mute and I liked it a lot. It has a very structured approach to working through your ego and connecting to your higher self in a very workable format, at least for my brain. The metaphor of the stargazer is very symbolic and helps to keep the focus on the higher self. The second chapter on the reptilian brain brought a lot of light into my primal fears. It is definitely a book to work through, not a book to just read. The information without the exercises would be just more junk for the left brain. She has a nice way of integrating other authors as Byron Katie and Eckhart Tolle and making a reasonable path. Sort of a step-by-step -step decluttering and disarming of our ego and personal stories so we can connect to our stargazer. Very, very nice. I have actually enjoyed very much listening to it, as she is a very capable and enticing storyteller. I will definitely buy this book to keep for my own study. The story at the end about her trip to South Africa is completely mesmerizing. Another very good reason to read this book, if only for this. This is an inspiring and truly helpful book full of insight, humor and new skills to help anyone navigate their way in this challenging journey of living every day. It broadened my awareness and made me look at things in a new way, or rather in a way I'd always known about but hadn't trusted enough.